Earth sign. How are you? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The storyline resonates for you. Awesome. Keep in mind, you can flip around the characters. So this is not necessarily something that's going to be happening on July 23rd, although it could be. But it's more like messages that want to come through at this time. Okay? So I'm going to take a look at what is coming toward you, what relationship is coming toward you, or what is what is uh, unfolding. This is about love relationships. Sometimes we get we get work related things, money related things. Um, you know, because it's all it's all connected anyway, right? It is. It is. It really is. Abundance in all things. All right, Earth signs. Let's see where we go here for you. Card underneath, King of Cups. Awesome. Let's see. King of Cups underneath. Two of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Are you trying to decide between two people or trying to decide to off make an offer to somebody or somebody's trying to decide to make an offer to you? Two of Cups, nice. World, woo. Three of Wands, you guys are moving forward together here. This person is ready. Three of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, Magician. All right, my loves. So I feel like um, one of you here is really trying to decide about making an offer. The other person is, there's love here, okay? I feel like you both, this is a, a mutual. This is mutual, I'm sure. Two of Cups, King of Cups. Um, I feel like you could be in love with this person. They are definitely in love with you, okay? And uh, right now, there's this kind of confusion. Come here, you. Um, two of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. There's a little bit of confusion about an offer or what to do next. Ace of Pentacles. That's big. Ace of Pentacles is a big offer. And what is going on here, Three of Wands, this person is expecting um a new beginning because the world is the ending and ending in a new beginning um and the new beginning is moving forward together which is really lovely okay i'm gonna use the wisdom of the oracle i didn't pull those cards so let me do that right now before we really sort of dive into this all right the wisdom of the oracle here i knew i was doing something backwards sorry about that earth signs it's not really backwards it's like a <laughs> it's just there was some there was some meaningful reason for me to do that so let's just call it good i love the two of cups here there's mutual love I, if you don't know that earth sign if you don't know this person loves you back they do okay just want you to know that um wow this is really interesting the tribe chop wood time for a nap <laughs> All right, Earth sign. Have you been chopping a lot of wood for your tribe? I feel like this is um, this Two of Pentacles, Seven of Cups kind of dreaminess, kind of decision making time period. I feel like you've been putting a lot of effort into trying to figure out what's right for the tribe, what's right for everybody concerned. I feel like you might need to gather your energy and that's what time for a nap is um before you move forward this might have been very playful the situation there might have been friendship started here there was a friendship started here and then it, it's blossoming into something else because the magician is taking action and then ten of pentacles is a very very stable situation so you might need to get gather your strength that's what I'm feeling about that time for a nap thing, is that if you have been working hard on getting to this person or if they've been working hard to get to you, either way, you need to um, gather your energies. I keep feeling like I'm saying that, but I, I feel like you need to um, recharge your batteries here. Queen of Wands, oh, I see, very passionate. Could be dealing with an air, a fire sign here. Fire sign, seven of wands, page of wands, eight of cups. So going toward this person, seven of wands, there could have been some resistance with this person or this person could be, you know, sort of standing their ground. But I like the page of wands here. 
Page of Wands is a small offer. So there's some little like, some little thing that is just, it, it lights the, lights the fuse for this. It lights the fuse and for you to sort of move forward together. Look at this, Eight of Cups. Um, they could be walking away from another person, Earth Sign, or they could be walking away from another situation, you guys moving forward together. Okay, you see the boat in the distance there for that Eight of Cups. This person is waiting for that boat to come in and the Three of Wands is about moving forward. Okay, it's about waiting for your ships to come in. Literally is that Three of Wands. The ships are coming in. Okay, in this deck, it is very much about treasure. Taking action toward treasure. Ten of Pentacles. So this person, um, Ace of Pentacles here too. This person could be um, an important partner for you in terms of your work or in terms of your creativity or in terms of how you're choosing to move forward in your life financially. There's some money piece to this that's very, very important. Okay. Um, the Seven of Cups up here. Just at a crossroads, right? Hanged man. Just at a crossroads, trying to figure out what to do. Tower. Okay. So this is why, Queen of Air, Queen of Swords here. This is why um, it's important to take a nap. <laughs> because you will need all your strength in a good way with this person, with this moving forward. Okay. The tower could come through here and blow apart this um, stagnation that's been going on because these two cards here, the two of pentacles and the seven of cups are very much stagnation cards. Okay. And the ace of pentacles, you could be offered this ace of pentacles, this brand new abundance. Okay. In a very quick, uh, sort of like not unforeseen kind of way. This person could be an air sign. This person could be a fire sign. I see queen of wands and queen of swords for some of you you could have somebody leaving just that quickly okay because queen of swords is the only one who's not married queen of swords is the divorcee or um the someone who's not married and so that person could be if you're in a couple with somebody that person could be leaving your life right going away from you Ace of Pentacles, world, things wrapping up, things moving forward now into a different phase. This is a different person. Queen of Wands over here. There might have been some resistance in this relationship, and maybe because it was a third party, Three of Cups here. There was some resistance to taking any action because it was a third party. You could have someone leaving your life very suddenly. If you're in relationship, somebody could be leaving and then now there's the opportunity for something brand new with this other person. Okay, there was stagnation in this relationship. Real stagnation. There wasn't much moving forward at all. Sort of in a dilemma, in a, um, at a crossroads here. And you've been working hard to do this, to deal with this situation. It was just using up a ton of energy. Okay, and so when the tower comes through, and that person just leaves your life, there's this sense of freedom, magician, of something brand new, world and magician here, something brand new happening, okay? And so the ships are coming in. So this could also be a situation where you're in a terrible job that you hate or something that just isn't, it's like, I'm using up all of my energy, but I feel, I used to say this, um, I had a job one time that I felt like I was, um, installing carpeting on the ceiling by myself. So it's like, you know, you're trying to put up the carpeting and staple it in and it's falling down around you and everything. It's like you put in so much effort and energy and you don't feel like you're getting anywhere. And so that's a situation that's getting blown up. So whatever relationship or whatever, you know, could be, um, you could be getting a new job offer. You could be getting, it's whatever it is, it's sudden. Sudden change is coming. And there is a person that is on your doorstep here that I feel like you might have been either been friends with or you know who this person is. And they could have been resistant because this was a third party situation. So there could have been resistance from you or resistance from them. Like, no, this isn't right. And so now we're going to move towards something that's brand new and stable. Okay. Uh, the, the foundation had to get blasted. 
because the foundation was rickety. This foundation was rickety. It was too much of your energy. It was taking too much energy from you to make that work. And it wasn't, and even so, you were using all that energy and it still wasn't working. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do an extended read for this. Let's see where we go. I want it because this eight of wands and three of wands, ace of pentacles, ten of pentacles, moving forward into something new. Let's see where we're going. Okay. Link is below, earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo for you. See you over there.